The world knows her as the famous actress. But this exhibition in Brussels is tracing the private life of Audrey Hepburn. Euronews had a guided tour by one of her favorite people, her son. We are in the Galerie van der Bort, in the heart of Brussels, Belgium, right by the galleries of the Queen and the King, where I am hosting an exhibition to celebrate my mother's anniversary of her 90th birthday. She was born in Brussels in uh, 1929 on the 4th of May uh, in a small part of Brussels called XL. And so it felt like the right thing to, to do that. Intimate Audrey features movie memorabilia such as the scooter used in the 1953 classic Roman Holiday. So it's the woman, the child, the wife, the friend who is coming home to Brussels. Hepburn dedicated her last five years to helping children becoming UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. She felt very betrayed after World War II that they would not be concentration camps. And then she finds herself 30 years later in a, in a camp in Somalia and Sudan with 30,000 people waiting to die. She would stand up in, in, in rage. For Sean, this exhibition is more than a cultural event. It's a part of him. My mother died January 20th, 1993 at 8 o'clock at night. And I had a wonderful friendship with her. She was a wonderful parent. We got along great. Uh, we went through good times and bad times together. And then I lost her. And I have to make peace with that. At the same time, she continues in my life every day. So I... Um, I'm the orchestra conductor, if you may, of this particular exhibition and of a certain aspect of her life. And so um, she's with me every day to the point that sometimes I hear this music and the things until it makes me a little crazy. The exhibition lasts until the 25th of August, 2019.